Is death final? I don't believe so. I personally believe that death is final. No, there's definitely something else. Absolutely, 100% that there is a second life. What do you believe happens uh, when we die? We're done, like that's it. You go into the ground, you decompose, and that's it. I think we just continue being a different person. I think there's a heaven or a hell, and you know, wherever you go, you go, but I also think your spirit lives on too. I've had many near-death experiences. You know, it's just black. If you want another life, you have to deserve it, I think. Energy can't be created or destroyed. I think we're all energy and that some part of us can't be destroyed. I feel like it just, I feel like it's just gonna be like dark. Mm. And then sooner or later, um, we're gonna get like reincarnated in some way and then we're gonna have a new life. Do you think it's possible that we can know what would happen when our breath leaves our lungs? Like, do we know for certain? No, absolutely No, not, not at all. Is that something that's scary? That's one of my biggest fears is death. So yeah, so I'm really like scared to see like what's gonna happen. Can I give you some good news? You are loved by God and you were created in his image and he wants you to have everlasting life and have a relationship with him. Do you know who Jesus is? Yeah, no, yeah, for sure, yeah. Yeah, do you know what he came to do? Uh, yeah, uh, I know some key parts of some parts. The Bible says actually in Hebrews, he partook of the flesh and he defeated the very thing that humans feared, which okay. was death. The reason why I can say I'm going to heaven is not because of my good works. Right. Jesus paid for my sins and my death. The debt that we owed was punishable by death and that's what we'll face. An eternity separate from our creator. But Jesus, out of his love, came down, partook of flesh and took the consequence that was meant for you and me yeah. so we could have life. And you know how we receive life? Uh, Just by believing in him. Okay. It's not because of my behavior. It's because of what he already accomplished on the cross.